So I'm uh, headed to go get my brother from the airport. Um, he's coming back home, so I got to go do that. Um, I haven't uploaded any vlogs or made any vlogs really in the past couple days. Started to on Friday, going to work, um, but my camera that I usually film in the car, um, that died. So pretty much <laughs> half of the conversation I was having was to a dead camera. Um, but then I uh, came home Friday and I pretty much just started working on um, a picture frame. Um, I have that. Uh, kind of part of a vlogish um, stuff, but that's going to be uploaded um, Sunday night tonight um, to my woodworking channel. Um, hopefully, I can get this uploaded um, tonight as well, along with some of the other stuff. I told you I was going to give you guys footage of that tire, or talking about that tire blown up. Um, so yeah, that's that's what's happening. So let's go and do that, and um, yeah, make sure I have everything: keys, phone, and wallet. Um, but yeah, the, the video for the picture frame will be up um, tonight for sure. Which I'm going to try and get this up, but. Um, Let's go get in the car and... Alright, so we're on the road. Hopefully this is good. Uh, I kind of judged it in here. So <laughs> the camera's in where the, uh, uh, the dash is, all the gauges and the uh, gauge closer. Hopefully it's not too bouncy and shaky. I have like the little neck strap like doubled over to bring the lens up. Hopefully, I mean, it looks like it's pointing at me properly. But um, back to what I was saying about, you know, I didn't get anything done vlog-wise because I was shooting that video for my woodworking channel and getting the, the frame done in general. And if you've ever done anything like that, you know, when you're making something and trying to film it at the same time, you necessarily don't want to have the same camera angle or shot the whole entire time you know you want to you want to show what you're doing maybe close up maybe further back different sides of you know because you're moving around as well so there's a lot of like you know you could just sit there and especially me I'll have maybe a bump here sorry about that um, you may um, be able to just you know continue working 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 and get it done um, but you know you have to move the camera around and make it better for the viewer right? you know make make your video a lot better quality so it just soaked up so much time so much memory on my memory cards and I was constantly going through batteries so that was like the only break I really had in moving the camera um, I worked on it a little bit Thursday night Friday night I did quite a bit and then Saturday I did it just like the finishing stuff um, getting the glass fit and, whatnot, and then going and taking it over there and um, putting the picture in, hanging it on the wall and whatnot. Um, like I said, there will be a link to that video on my woodworking channel. Uh, go check it out if you're interested. But, um, so yeah, we're not in my car. We're in my brother's car. It's got more gas, so I decided to take it instead of filling up mine. And, yeah, I, uh, hopefully, I, we should get there, you're supposed to land at, um, 4.30, and you 
He's got to get his bags too, so from baggage claim. So I imagine we'll get there before he does. We'll go inside. Hopefully, be able to film that. If not, we'll just pick him up on the side and film that as well. But um, we're going to DIA, by the way. I don't know if anybody knows that. Um, Denver International Airport. Uh, I think that's about it. I mean, that's all I've really been doing. And uh, today was just editing that video. That's about it. It's not done yet, but it will be done tonight. So, yeah. The creepy horse. That's a new Weston, I believe. Yeah, Weston Hotel that is attached to DIA, and the light rail will be going underneath into it, so you can ride the light rail from Denver or the surrounding Denver area, and uh, go right there. So now, now I just wait. Go here. It's 4:20 and. Uh, he doesn't land till 4.30, so we came inside, obviously. And, um, which is always good, because I like to be able to watch, so that's what I'm going to do. And uh, bring him back when, uh, when he comes. At least your beard looks fucking good. That's gonna be true. No, it doesn't. Nope. I gotta no. trim this right here. No. Yeah. No. Yeah, it's like your fucking hands. Alright, back home. So, I'm glad that I uh, bought that extra bit because um, this is the only bit that came with it. And it, uh, it's a little router bit, you know, but it would have been a bitch to do what I want to do with this little guy here, so that's good. And there's just, just a little tiny jankity thing. So this is a Dremel 3000, so if you guys buy this or whatever, um, this is what you get. A Dremel, a little case, a little thing. This is the guide for routing. Um, but yeah. That's it. Glad I bought that other bit. So I got gypped by fucking Dremel. Um, I just bought this Dremel 3000. And it says right here that there is supposed to be a wrench in there. But there's no wrench. There's a little spot for it. I checked the whole case. Checked inside here. Checked in there. Nothing. Got gypped. I think I'm supposed to have this. Maybe not. I don't know. But that's not there. Yeah. Gypped by Dremel. Alright guys, so what I'm building is a new version of this. Maybe not the same style. I'm thinking miter corners instead of butt joints with dowels. Um, I built this a couple years ago. Actually about almost a year ago actually um, for a picture of a tree um, but never finished it you can still see you know stuff on it and whatnot um, so that's what I'm gonna be working on today may be able to get it done tonight um, 
the new one's going to be a little different though. Uh, this one was made for the exact size of the frame, or of the picture. Um, with the backing, so there's like a, on the edge of the picture there's enough room, I think it's like a quarter, or a, yeah, a quarter inch um, hangover, so it, it would have looked just perfect, it would have been perfect. But what I'm actually thinking now is um, I got this piece of glass cut, um, it's clear temper, it's quarter inch thick, um, and then I got some hard backboard that's going to get painted black. So it's going to have the white picture that's on the piece of paper um, with black accent edge and then figure out a wood that goes with that. Maybe maple or cherry. Uh, probably not walnut because I think it'd be too black with a black background. So that's what I'm going to get working on. And um, I'm going to put the video over on my woodworking channel so you can check that out there um, when it's finished. Just keep your eyes open.